How y'all doing? This is Rob Barnum, make your preacher man or I'm being the center episode of Richard TV91. This time I'm doing another episode of Teen Wolf Reviews, and this time I'm reviewing Teen Wolf Season 3, Part 2, Episode 1. What happens on this week's episode is Scott, Styles, and Allison are having uh, side effects of reawakening the Nemeton whenever they died and they came back to life to bring the Nemeton back to life. And it's now a beacon for supernatural creatures. Well, what's going on is, is Styles is having all these night terrors and sleep paralysis and he never knows when he's awake because he can't read uh while he's asleep uh, and he's not being able to read this throughout this whole episode so you don't know if he's awake or not and then he's having all these uh visions and all this stuff and He's writing, wake up, wake up, wake up, and he's asleep and he wakes up, but Scott tells him he was awake this whole time. And what's happened with Scott, he's not able to control his, his werewolf change anymore, and he's seeing things, and he's seeing shadows of <coughs> other werewolves, and he's seeing a shadow of his claws being out, but they ain't really out. And in his reflection, he sees his werewolf eyes glowing, and they're not really glowing. And then he's not able to control his uh his transformation, and he almost hurts his dad in the process. And Allison is uh seeing her dead aunt, and she keeps seeing her kill Isaac and do all these things. And that's all that's happening with that. Then we meet this uh new girl. I think her name is Kara or something like that. And she tells them that this is a thing in some kind of Buddhist uh, thing or whatever. I can't remember what she called it. But anyway, it basically is steps before you die. So we had to see what happens with that. And the only other thing that's happening is Scott helps Styles' his father with a case that hasn't been solved yet with the werewolf attack on this little girl, Malia. And they find the abandoned car and they see this uh, coyote. And Scott tracks it down, and its eyes start glowing, and Scott says, Malia. So this is a rare coyote, so we have to see what happens with that. And the only other thing that's happening is Derek and uh, Peter is getting tortured at the end of the episode, and that's all that really happened. My question for y'all is, now that Derek and Peter are getting tortured, who are they getting tortured by? As always, Preacher Man RB, sign out. Guys, dude, you is awesome. It's been an episode of Richard TV 901. See y'all next time.